Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Quick hitter edition, and we're going to go out to Beantown. Welcome home, Gigi Portella, Portala, a.k.a. Vincent Marino, a.k.a. Gigi Marino, uh, has been away in the feds for the last three decades. And he was released last week and checked into a halfway house. This is a guy that was really well liked by the East Boston OGs of of the, that very tumultuous period in the patriarchal crime family, um, when the Cadillac Frank Providence faction was at war with the North End and uh, East Boston. Uh, Gigi was, you know, for lack of a better term, he was, you know, captain of a hit squad. He wasn't a capo or a skipper, but he was, you know, on the boots on the ground, you know, leading the infantry um, in the, kind of the two stages of that war, both the summer of 89 stuff where Gigi and his guys almost killed Cadillac Frank uh, in front of that pancake house in Saugus. And then again, um, in the mid nineties when that stuff flared back up again, it's been locked up since April of, was locked up from April of 97 until August of 24 has always maintained his innocence despite being convicted of racketeering three gangland homicides and seven attempted murders all tied to that unrest in the patriarchas. Uh, Gigi, you know, was one of these kind of all American guys that grew up a uh, football star, track star at Revere High School, homecoming king, student council. And, you know, one of these guys that probably could have gone on and, and been a leader of men in the, in the corporate world, but gravitated to the East Boston guys, J.R. Russo, Bobby Carroza, Spucky Spagnolo, Benny Giacomo. Uh, but he's been gone for, for, you know, almost 30 years. He's back. Um, I'm sure it, it's quite an adjustment. Not going to make any predictions about what will or will not happen right now. We're not hearing anything, you know, here at OG pod about him jumping back in or, or anything like that. I think he wants to just kind of enjoy his, his freedom. And, you know, he, again, he's, he's a guy that's been, really vocal in his, you know, being adamant that he had nothing to do with what he was convicted of and pointing the fingers at the very, very well-established um, corruption within the Boston FBI office and saying that that was all going on when they were making those cases against him and, I'm not saying he he didn't do what he was convicted of because I sense he at least did part of it. But I also don't disagree with the notion that it might not have, you know, that bust, that 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 conviction might not have been on the up and up because there was just so much dirty activity on the government side at that point. So most of the guys that he was um at war with or are gone. I know the denunzios were at one point on the other side of it, but I'm told there really isn't uh, any lingering animosities between the denunzios and, and Gigi, uh, that he is a, you know, has a lot of friends in that Eeps Boston group and will be fine despite trying to kill a lot of guys back, back in the day, allegedly. Um, but it's interesting. I guess I, I didn't really, I wasn't really paying attention to his outdate. Um, I thought he had, you know, a significant batch of time to still do. So I was kind of caught off guard when I saw that he got out. Shout out to uh, Boston YouTuber Jason Trimmins, I believe, uh, who broke this news originally. Uh, Gigi is a kind of a folk hero in Boston, kind of the way that uh, Johnny Bart, when we talked about him last uh, last year, getting out of prison after the same amount of time, uh, Hell's Angel Johnny Bart. Um, you know, these kind of local folk heroes that might not be a huge deal outside of New England, but within New England are are, are quite important. So we'll keep you updated, but uh, welcome home to Gigi Marino and uh, get 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 your get yourself on that iPhone and, and start checking it out. See uh, how, how we're living here in the 2020s. But uh, 
Boston, um, New England, Providence, uh, we love reporting on it, and uh, there'll be a lot more news to report, probably having nothing to do with Gigi, but there's always stuff going on there that we're talking about, and uh, check back in, check check on the Patreon, um, like, subscribe, share the word, and we'll keep uncovering the underworld every week here at OG Pod. Scott Bernstein, I'm out. Thank you.